What's up everybody, today I'll be showing you a quick review on the new Ledger Wallet standalone software. Whether you knew it or not, Google is discontinuing their Chrome Apps development project thing. So Ledger has been working on a standalone as to not leave you in the dark when they go down. So let's get right to it and check out their new software. All right, so Ledger's new wallet is called Ledger Live. All your accounts all in one place. I don't know if that's a good thing, but let's check it out. So this is what the wallet looks like. The new one is completely different from the new one and it's showing you portfolio mode. Basically it's taking all your coins and putting it in a nice chart for you. That's pretty cool. Another interesting thing is that down here it says that it keeps your balance even when your nano is not plugged in. So I'm interested in checking that out. Not sure if I'm really gonna like it, but let's download the software, all right guys? So go to ledgerwallet.com we're gonna be clicking on the apps tab on top of the website and we're gonna select the button that says download now. Once you click download now, you should see an option pop up and you should see it downloading or if you have a Mac, it should just disappear into your queue. Once it downloads, open the file up and press yes or if you have a Mac, put in your password and we're gonna be just installing the software into our computers. When the wallet opens up, you're gonna be presented with four options. You're gonna be selecting the first one if you got a brand new wallet and you're setting it up for the first time. If you lost your wallet and you got your private keys, you're gonna be selecting the second one. And in my case, I'm gonna be selecting option three because I already have a Nano wallet that's initiated or initialized. I'm gonna be selecting Nano S and then it's gonna ask you a few questions. We're gonna select yes because your wallet already has a pin number. And then we're gonna select yes again because you already have your phrases written down. And then Ledger is gonna check to see if your wallet is actually genuine. So we're gonna be plugging in the Nano S into your computer, put in your password and leave it in the dashboard of your wallet. Give it a few seconds and then it's going to ask you to confirm. You're going to select yes or the right button. And your Ledger Wallet software is going to confirm that you have a genuine product. And we're going to be pressing continue. Here we're going to be creating a new password. Ledger has a new option that whenever you open up the software, it asks for a password. This is a good thing because every time you open it up, even if you don't have your wallet plugged in, you can still see the amount of BTC you have in your computer. So having a password is great for prying eyes. All right, guys. Next, you'll be hit with the spyware mumbo jumbo. Just turn off those options. I forgot to and press the continue button. All right, so here it is in all its glory. It's gonna give you a warning in the beginning not to be stupid. It's telling you to be smart and not get yourself into stupid stuff like BitConnect. Just press gotcha, and this is it right here. All right, so if you're setting up a brand new wallet, you're gonna select the open manager button or the manager tab on the left side of the software to download the BTC software onto your Nano S. You're gonna select the manager button, and it's gonna go through some verification. You're gonna confirm on your device itself and this this will bring you up to the the catalog of coins you can download onto your ledger nano s there's a bunch of them there's bitcoin gold bitcoin bitcoin there's litecoin you just write litecoin if you want a digibyte you just write digibyte it has ethereum it has ethereum classic it has a bunch of them select the one you want and press install if you're using an existing wallet that already has bitcoin on it you'll notice that if you select your bitcoin wallet nothing happens at all you don't see your currency you don't see your amount you don't see nothing well the problem is we have to open up a new account we're going to select account and then we're going to select the currency we want displayed in this case i'm going to select bitcoin there's plenty others we're going to press continue it's going to do a verification and then it's going to synchronize your wallet with the software Once it synchronizes, we're gonna be selecting the name for our account. I'm just gonna leave it as Bitcoin one. I'm gonna select the checkbox and I'm gonna click add account. 
from here your wallet opens up um, as you can see it's a zero balance because I created a dummy account just to show off now, if you look at the bottom you'll see a chart that's completely just flatlined because there's absolutely zero balance in this account but if it had some money you'll see some statistical information it has a weekly chart a monthly chart and a yearly chart so that's pretty cool you click on the exchanges tab it will take you to a page with a bunch of links to a few exchanges they trust um, whether or not you should have your money in an exchange is a topic for another time but they still give you a few links which is cool you click on the send option you'll be presented with a a form that you're used to you put in the bitcoin address the amount you want press send bada bing bada boom right all right so if you look at the bottom left you'll see bitcoin and litecoin and you can add as many coins as you want inside of your wallet now this is good this is where it shows your the amount you have in btc or whatever and even when you disconnect your wallet it'll still show the amount you have in that section when you're looking at the chart in the portfolios tab you're actually looking at the chart of all the accounts put together you know all your cryptos all in one chart if you want to look at your individual charts just click on the bottom left on the btc or the ltc or whatever wallet you have and you'll see a chart on its own all right guys now that's basically the breakdown now keep in mind that this is the first version and there are a few problems that i found myself for example i tried plugging in my hw.1 wallet and it wasn't working because it was trying to it, it told me that i had to go to the dashboard uh, menu of my wallet and i can't do that because there's no display on the hw1 so keep that in mind and for whatever reason i was having trouble installing any other wallet than bitcoin right now i tried installing my litecoin wallet and basically it just got stuck in the synchronizing in the synchronizing option forever so i had to just press stop and i'm sure if you're watching this video from the future i'm sure it's working for you by now but for now this is just version one guys so oh there you have it guys the new ledger live wallet tell me what you guys think of it below in the comments and i'm gonna leave you with my millennium falcon custom made hw.1 wallet if you want one holler at me and maybe i'll make one for you peace out